The new Among Us map airship is out and oh boy is there a ton of secrets and easter eggs hidden in it. From a new Drake meme easter egg to so much more, we don't even have time to beg for likes. Let's just get right into it with number 10. All right, if you played the Henry Stickman games and if you didn't know, that's the other game that the people who made Among Us made, especially the one involving the airship itself, you probably know of a character named Charles Calvin. He's a veteran helicopter pilot who helps you throughout the games and he makes an awesome cameo in the new airship map. When an imposter sabotages the reactor of the airship, you have to go to the gap room in order to prevent your team from losing. And if you recognize the gap room, it's probably because it happened and infiltrate the airship. All right, here I come. So, keeping that in mind, you can see that during the sabotage, a silhouette can be spotted in the gap room window. If you don't stop the sabotage, then the helicopter will get closer and crash in those last few seconds. It's a pretty neat easter egg, but for those who aren't familiar with the Stickman series, there's way more awesome secrets. Coming in at number 9, we have the Drake easter egg. If you remember some easter eggs from last year, then you might know about the Polis task in which you could find a reference to hotline bling on the ID cards. And while that was pretty funny, it looks like Anna Sloth have doubled down on this easter egg with Airship. If you go into one of the rooms in the main hall and then drag the photos into the tray, you can watch them slowly develop. And very quickly, you can see that these are actually taken straight from the Drake meme, so it's pretty awesome to see this easter egg transfer to the new tasks. But for some more original secrets, we've got number eight. Inside of the vault of the airship, there's a treasure trove of easter eggs and souvenirs from a ton of different games. If you look in the bottom left, you could find a mysterious golden pistol on a stand, and there is a few things this could be referencing, but it's pretty much confirmed that this is the golden PP7 from GoldenEye. I mean, James Bond as a whole has a lot of golden guns in it, and it's not just the 007 GoldenEye game that made it famous. There is an entire movie in the James Bond franchise called, you guessed it, The Man with the Golden Gun. And the airship vault hosts a lot more secrets as we move on to number seven. If you saw the golden gun and looked just past it, you probably realized that there was another famous game weapon on the stands. Right next to the gun, you can see an energy sword and any person who knows anything about games has probably heard of this thing. The energy sword is one of Halo's most popular weapons and of course, this is why it's sitting here in the Among Us vault. Although you might notice that this one is a red color and it's because it's the blood sword version of the energy sword. The blood sword is mostly known for being used in Halo 2's infected mode, which was really popular. And an important note to remember is that this is taken straight from an actual airship's vault from Henry Stickman. So basically a lot of the vault items are also in infiltrating the airship, which explains a lot of the random references. And to finish off all the other things hidden in this room, we've got number six. So the vault has an absolutely huge amount of secrets, which include more references to games in real life. Like there's a picture of the final destination stage from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Then the Easter eggs pour into real life due to some very expensive paintings on the wall. There's of course the most famous artwork of all time where we see kind of like a crewmate version of the Mona Lisa. It's awesome. And then on the left is a Starry Night by Van Gogh. You could also see two other paintings. One of them is an artwork of Scout from Team Fortress 2 right next to a kind of terrible drawing of the Windows XP wallpaper. Then there's an Among Us crewmate version of American Gothic, an extremely famous painting. Things get even more weird when you head into the medical room. You could spot an x-ray on the wall, which seems to be just one long bone. And well, if you don't get the joke, the single bone is actually the anatomy of an Among Us crewmate. Super uncomfortable and weird. So I guess we've got confirmation on what is inside these little things. And while there are a ton of original Easter eggs on the ship, the floor is littered with devices and things that belong to Henry Stickman. So let's talk about it at number five. I'm just gonna rapid fire these. So to start in the meeting room, you could find glue on one of the seats and this is from a route in infiltrating the airship. Just outside the vault entrance, you could also find a wizard hat on the floor, which belongs to the grappling hook route. That same route also includes the claw pack, which can be found inside the vault itself, just next to a starry night. The long pencil in the gap room is also a device used by Henry, where he tries to cross the gap by drawing a glider. Then, if you head into the bottom right of the map, you'll find the banana bomb in the cargo bay, which is both a device from the game and a reference to the banana from Worms. It's right next to another Easter egg called Tank in a Box, which is one of the final devices you could use near the end of the game. And with these simple Easter eggs out of the way, we've got some even more exciting ones. Make sure you watch until the end because there is some insane stuff no one's noticed, like number four. So you probably played the new map and was surprised by all the new sounds. I mean, there's no more of that classic emergency meeting sound or even the ejection music. When you get thrown from the airship, it plays some kind of odd music, but this isn't any old random song. Most players didn't know that. No, no, no. This is actually the music that plays in one of the secret endings of infiltrating the airship. 
in one of the many endings, you can actually be betrayed, and it fits the theme of Among Us perfectly, which is probably why Inner Sloth chose to use that music here. And it's also why they chose to add our next secret. At number three, we have the Gold Desert Eagles. One of the rooms we haven't talked about yet is the Armory. This can be found in the bottom left of the map near the cockpit, and it's way bigger than anyone would have expected from an Armory. And of course, because it's so big, there's a ton of Easter eggs and secrets in here. For example, immediately upon entering the room, you could find two Gold Desert Eagles. This pair of gold pistols is actually an awesome reference to completing the mission. In that game, if you enter the wrong painting portal, it will lead you to a mysterious man known as Jackie Kensington. Let's go. Hey probably pronounced that wrong. Anyways, of course, because you just entered his world, he pulls out his golden deagle and shoots you. This whole scene is actually an even cooler Easter egg for Super Mario 64. It's just layers upon layers of Easter eggs. Kind of like one of those Russian doll things. Uh, you can also find the shrink ray in the armory, which is one of the most famous devices from Henry Stickman. He uses it in stealing the diamond and it doesn't exactly work out for him. But from main game Easter eggs to one on the main menu itself, we've got number two. So if you played the new update, you know that accounts are now finally available. And if you want to make an account, you've got to head to the menu, link it to whatever device you're using, and then enter your birth date. Pretty simple task for most of us, I gotta say, but there was something wrong with this for a lot of people. If you were born on a leap year, meaning your birthday is February 29th, then you weren't in great luck. Unfortunately, Innersloth completely forgot to add this option into the year section, basically meaning leap year babies are left out. Now, thankfully, they added the 29th option with a hotfix so people can actually type in their birthday but for those few hours, must have sucked looking at everyone playing and not being able to. And for uh, all you leap year babies out there, let me know down in the comments. But now for one of the most secretive Easter eggs on the map, we've got our number one spot with the USB drive. So if you've been in the vault, you probably noticed a weird panel on the ground with a USB drive on it. It's kind of confusing as to what this could be. After all, it's just a USB stick. Well, only hardcore fans of Henry Stickman would have been able to understand this Easter egg. In infiltrating the airship while you're making your way towards the vault, Henry notices a certain someone trapped in the brig. Hey, think you could let me out of here? Thank you. That was Dave Panpa, the security guy. He's a very popular character, and once you freed him from the brig, you don't see him again. Or do you? Once Henry sneaks into the vault using a piece of paper, you could actually see Dave in the background. Check it out. Yeah, so as you can see, he falls out of the vents and loses a USB drive. This is exactly what you could find on the airship on Among Us to this day, so it's a really awesome little Easter egg. But that is all the Easter eggs you could currently find on the new airship map. This has been a huge update for Among Us and way more stuff is yet to come, as well as Easter eggs that still haven't been found yet. Did we miss something? Let me know in the comments below, but thank you guys so much for watching. Click on screen right now to check out our next video. Of course, this has been Tommy and you're watching T5G.